Okay, I have the uh, inverter here, the Duracell 800 watt inverter connected to a deep cycle marine battery. Um, and so what we're going to try and figure out here is how long these Christmas lights would run off of the deep cycle marine battery. So I have uh, the inverter hooked up to this item called a kilowatt that will show the power usage. But I'm also going to, we're going to take a look at uh, what other items that you can charge off your battery, you know, through the inverter. Uh, maybe it's too much power for the inverter uh, for this actual one, or maybe it's going to be a lot for the battery to, to be able to discharge that fast. So we're going to take a look at those items. Um, but first we need to understand how much power is in this battery. So this is a 12 volt battery uh, with 114 ampere hours. So that's 1368. So that's going to be an awful lot uh, to take out of the battery, damages the battery when you drain it that far down. Um, you're obviously going to want to use it during an emergency. That's what you have it for. But let's uh, let's say we take it down to 75% of that. So that gives us uh, 1,026 uh, uh, watts to use. But let's just you know use that as a round number of 1,000. So let's take a look at what items that we the items that we have here and uh, see what they draw. So I'm going to turn on the uh, inverter here. And that's powering up. All right, battery's pretty well charged. I'm going to set the uh, kilowatt onto watts. And we're going to plug in the first string of 50 LED Christmas lights. And you can see that's pulling, let's say, 2.5. It's going to jump around here. So, um, you know, this is enough to light a kid's bedroom at night, you know, to give them a little light, run some extension cords through the house. Um, so let's take a look at 2.5. So remember, we had 1,000 um, amps to work with, divided by 2.5. And it gives us 400 hours of running just those Christmas lights. Okay, now let's take a look at if we plug in a bunch of Christmas lights. So now we have the 50 and the 150. And now we're running, uh, let's say, 9 amps, I'm sorry, 9 watts. So you have 1,000 watts divided by 9. And so you're going to be able to get 1,100. Oh, shit, I said days, didn't I? Fuck. Okay, what I've done here now is I've uh, turned off the inverter, and now I have the kilowatt hooked directly up to the uh, electrical for the house. So I'm going to plug in some of the items that we may use during an emergency and see what sort of power they draw. So first I'm going to do the uh, battery charger with all these end loops in it because during a blackout you're obviously probably recharging your uh, lantern, your lights, your headlights and want to redo these. So just taking a look at uh, as the cycle throughs and gets uh, set to start charging you can see that uh, it uh, goes up between uh, 16 and 19 as a watts as it goes uh, starts charging all these different batteries and so uh, if you take a look on uh, you know how many watts will the battery uh, be able to charge you know the um, deep cycle marine battery so we originally had our a uh, thousand watts and then we're going to divide them by uh, 18 that the battery charge is doing so we have uh, 55 times we could actually charge that uh, all these different end loop batteries from the uh, marine, deep cycle marine battery. But let's take a look at some other items that we have. So we have, uh, you know, you may need to be recharging your drill. Let's say during a hurricane, you have to refasten uh, some boards to the house or windows. And so you plug in to recharge uh, the big 19 volt battery on here. So this thing, if you can see, is taking 45 uh, watts of power to charge up the um, big 19 volt battery. So again, you have your uh, 1000 watts divided by 45. So you can charge this 22 times or charge 22 of these batteries uh, off of your deep cycle marine battery. So now let's take a look at, um, you know, if there is an emergency and you need to have uh, coffee, which you do, uh, let's see what this coffee maker pulls and if you could actually pull it off, pull uh, enough power through the 800 watt inverter and your uh, deep cycle marine battery. And again, I'm plugged into the house. 
Um, so we're going to plug this thing in and uh, surprising the coffee maker on its uh, on its own. It's got a kind of a short cord here. Um, pulls 0.5 watts just as uh, just sitting there, uh, not doing anything else. So I'm going to kick this baby on. I'm going to turn off the grinder. It has a grinder up here, but I'm just going to turn off the grinder. And oh, I can already tell in the house it just started up. So um, we're at 940 watts. Uh, so this will outpace what the uh, inverter will do. Um, and remember, we only had a thousand watts to work with. So uh, you're not going to be charging you or running your coffee maker uh, from... Uh, here, let's slide this a little bit closer and get that up a little bit closer. Um, so we're at 926 watts. So it exceeds, like I said, what the uh, inverter will do. So you're not going to be making coffee at home uh, during a blackout with this basic setup. You could... Uh, plug it into your car, uh, but you need a bigger inverter. So um, another thing you may want to do is we'll get this coffee maker out of the way and slide these guys over here is, you know, charge your uh, family radios. And so you want to see how often you can charge that. So let's take a look at how many, how many watts uh, charging these. Uh, these are Midland. Um, FRS radios, so they only take three watts. So again, you can charge them multiple, multiple times uh, from your deep cycle marine battery um, and, and through your inverter. So you can charge all these little things, run uh, Christmas lights, not a problem at all. Uh, but if you try to use something like a hairdryer, microwave, or uh, a coffee maker like this, uh, that's where you're gonna really suck so much power down. It's better off to just purchase a generator and be able to run those items uh, to make your life a little bit more comfortable during a, a, an outage. So I uh, ho hope that was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.